There's the Cherry Mansion. Terry, we ready? Yes, sir. We're ready to get it. Fish to go catch some fish this morning, folks, on the Tennessee River. Heading out right now. A beautiful day. Feels great out here this morning. And uh, Terry's got on his lucky hat today, so something's getting caught. Always carry your shade with you. Take your shade with you when you go. That's right. Is that something special up here that they like? Is that the reason why they're so plentiful up in here? I think what it is is just a little current break right here. And it's got them pushed. Because the other day, the, all this rain the past two days, it got up pretty high. Uh, they had the floodgates open yesterday. And uh, it got, I, I, get, I, bet, I think it was like six or seven foot higher yesterday. And they were kind of schooling out here. And they wasn't really. I mean, you could catch some, but it wasn't. When they, when they school right in here is the best part. You can catch them easy. Yeah, it's been, well, I would say the, we sort of catch them around this time. Uh, it's good but to But it ain't, they don't, you'd think first thing in the morning they would be really schooling and stuff and chasing, but you know, it ain't, it ain't like that. There you go. Yeah, them pond turns here about 12 o'clock. They get pretty heavily out here too. That's even worse than the lake. Good start. Yep, you got them right in that big one. Tennessee River. Quite bad. Little one to start the morning now. That old motor was parting that water like the Red Sea, man. <laughs> I said, like, Woo, look at that. Yeah, yes. All right. A little better one You got some, you got a light line. You want a rooster tail? No, I'm about to go, uh, uh, I'm about to try something else. I might tie one on, though. Y'all get to kick me too much. That's it. That's a fillet size. This is right my there. first cast right here. We're gonna see. That's a fillet fish. Yeah, that's a nice fillet size right there. But you got a couple little bait. So, so just well on me, just to the left of me, they're right there, right there. Yep, they just jumped right there. Starting to see him once in a while. Saw one pop over here just a minute ago. I know right that's why I keep going over yeah. it. Right. Here soon they'll they'll start busting right over there, and that's when they really. Yeah, I saw one walking. There you. Yeah. I knew that was a catching cast. Yeah. They're getting bigger as we go. That's a good thing. Better than getting smaller. Do the pin you too, won't you? Yeah, you gotta watch. Go to the old spinner. Got him 
schooling him behind us here pretty good. Oh, he just about had him on that top water. Y'all can see these bait fish. This is what you're looking for. I feel like about lined up with that rock. They're kind of like three times I've had them right in there. It's like they're, there's some kind of little zone in there. They're like, oh, wow. there's some bait holding in there right now. One board in the river, I say, right over top of it. Glad you won't have caught them tied fishing around. I don't even go see this one back here. A little spinner fish. I was just bringing it over here to you, Terry. I thought you might want this for. No. Unless you have it. I've always left mine right there. You just, I've always left my dress running. That fish came up like a bass. A, a little strike. He comes straight to the top, mm -hmm. right to the surface. Dang, he got all three hooks. You dang sure wasn't going nowhere, buddy. <laughs> the more you lost. He did, he got it too. So tell me about your college fishing a little bit. Yeah, I uh, I used to always play baseball when I was younger. And uh, yeah, I realized I wasn't going to did not with it and I just started fishing. I wanted to uh, do it in college and uh, man it's been a it's been an awesome uh, this is be my fifth year now. Yeah. And you know it's it's fun being able to go and travel everywhere and see all kinds of new lakes. We've been everywhere from New York to Texas to Florida. What was your best one? What do you like fishing the best? Florida? No, my probably my favorite fish is probably up north in New York. That's really? probably my favorite. Small mouth. Yeah. There might be some chance to swim around. Right? Oh, it's happening now. Hey. You gotta let it flutter for about four seconds. A lot of times I'll grab it then. But if you're not, if you don't let it flutter for a few seconds, you, I don't know, it just doesn't. That's the thing. There's one deal with these little spinners: is you hang anything on, they won't come out. Right. Good, great. It should be recording. You should film a double here in a second. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Crazy. Man. We're throwing through 100,000 fish right now. Oh, he's on. I'm we got a face. double on. <laughs> oh, that's a good one right here. Terry said he's got him a sandwich in the boat. Yeah. Not in the boat yet. Get him up here, Terry. That's a good one. Oh, that's a good one. That's, that's what you want to take home like that right there. Good one, Terry. A rooster tail come through again, didn't it? It did. Hunting or man, just fishing? I, uh, when I was younger, I deer hunted a lot, and then my granddaddy used to always take me duck hunting, and I, I've just gotten back into duck hunting. Yeah. I, uh, I'm not much of a deer hunter no more. I, I'm not a, I can't sit still that long. Yeah. But, <laughs> I, uh, I love to duck hunt. I do, do that. Our college tournaments, fishing, we fished all throughout the year, so it kind of put a limit on my duck hunting or deer hunting. That's a sandwich right there. Oh, that's a good one right there. Yeah, buddy. 
That's what you want. Look at that. Oh, that's two good sandwiches right there. Samples for a bait. There. I ain't. I went. Uh, the only time I've went fishing anything other than fresh water. Well, that I was fresh water. Well, no. Brackish. So, it, yeah, brackish. Yeah. But it was in close to the bank. Yeah. Yeah. Because I don't care nothing about being out there in that big water. No. <laughs> uh, I get, I, that's why I was about to say, the only time I went out there, I got seasick yeah, when man. I read it snapper fishing. Yeah, man, it don't take long. man. Y'all can have that part. <laughs> yeah. There you go. That's another real good one there. Real good one? Yeah. Yeah, that's a white bass. It's a real good one. Come on. Ah. Uh -huh. Biggest fish that's been on there today. I don't know what it was, but that's a good one. He spit it up just in time, man. <laughs> you see yeah, that big old ranger, he's like, uh uh. You got to hold up. <laughs> I done made that trip before, it ain't good. <laughs> <laughs> done gained all this weight, I better not go back up here this year. There's one, there's one. There we go. <laughs> Last one was it bigger? I, I don't know if it's white bass. To be honest, it might have been a big small bass or something. It's a pretty big fish. Sometimes these little wires are so thin they'll get bent up when you're catching fish. This one's a little longer than what you by hand. A little small. I think we'll let him swim. We done got a couple of good ones in winter. We, <laughs> we can't go back no little fish, man. Small, JR. Dude. We can't go show JR no little old fish. <laughs> right. Yeah, right in there. Let it sink for about four seconds and then reel it real quick till you feel it. There he is. <laughs> yeah, there's something about that little line right there. There's a bunch of them in it. There he is. All right. I think you're right. Hey, even when you can't be getting doubles, man. That's just fun. Little old bitty junkers here. They ain't much bigger than the bait they're chasing. <laughs> you gonna get him, Terry? Man, we filmed a topwater show in Chickamauga about two years ago. It was about as much fun as I've ever had a topwater in one day. There's no telling how many bass we caught. All topwater. It was a blast. Yeah, I only got one on it. Little tiny joker. He's on. Top water comes through. My old spin right coming that way. After you let it flutter, just pop it real good and crank like right out of the pot. One, two, three, four. Yeah, now pop it. You see what I mean? When you pop it, it'll, it'll set that blade. Yeah. There he is. Either it's a little bitty or it's swimming right to it. <laughs> Both. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, I know there's still a fish on there. I feel it. That joker short is a little old puny thing. Come here. He's letting up the number of pennies. That's what Mike needs for bait right there. He said he wants something for bait. All right, hold on, Terry. That's right. I got now. a sauger. <laughs> Can't hardly beat them. Uh -huh. <laughs> Long and skinny. Well, I'll tell you what, Reddy, we've had a good time out here, that's for sure. 
Appreciate you bringing us out here. Oh yeah, I wish the weather wasn't doing this. About to be a little storm. We got a there. pretty good storm moving in here. We don't have much longer. We're gonna have to get back to the boat ramp. So had a good day out here on the Tennessee River. Put quite a few fish in the boat, mainly white bass, and now a sauger right here at the end. So it's been a pretty good day. Oh. Look here, he's now he's on another thunder coming here. Now it's time to. I don't know what this fish is. Fish always bite better when it's getting ready to storm. Then they quit going up feeding pretty good. He's another draw. <laughs> 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 Put them on up there. Put them on up there, there Daddy. Bass master. Ooh, look at the bass master, son. <laughs> Can y'all believe this, folks? We out here. Drove all the way across the state. We drove all the way to Savannah here, right? <laughs> and what more kitchen? Now the bait fish are starting to go crazy up here. Well, guys, we're going to get out of here. It's fixing to storm. We'll see y'all right back here in just a minute in the studio with some more Southern Woods and Waters.